So today what we're going to do is we're going to fix the Seattle Mariners because if you look at the standings right now, it is not looking good. The Mariners have just absolutely been a disappointment this year. I mean, like that's just the straight and narrow. That's like the easiest way to say it. Like a team that coming off a great season last year has just not lived up to the hype. So it's time to fix them. Let's do it. And it's crazy because when you look at the team, like obviously they had that crazy good surge at the end of last year. They made some moves this offseason, acquiring Robbie Ray, which eh, has not been doing well. And then you, they went out, they got Suarez, they went out, they got Winker. And you felt like this was going to be a team that was really going to do something. And sadly, that hasn't been the case. Like they're way down there in the standings. They're under 500. Things aren't looking good. And they are a team that likes to wheel and deal. But I don't know if this is a year where they're going to wheel and deal and try to make themselves better. This might be another one of those years where they wheel and deal and try to either stay the same or maybe take a little bit step back so they can add some, maybe some flexibility with the salary or something. Because, man, it is not looking good. So, like I said, let's fix the team. I'm a little bit farther behind the games back than what they are in real life. But I've kind of recreated their... There's their, what is this called? What What is this called? Their wins and losses, their record. Holy cow, what was, whoa, their record. I recreated the record as best as I possibly could getting until today's date, June 13th. So we're gonna recreate, or uh, we're gonna save or rebuild the Mariners. So here we are. Yeah, looking at the team, there's, there's some holes. I know Adam Frazier in real life is just absolutely useless. You've got J.P. Crawford, you've got Ty France, you've got Julio Rodriguez in real life who are killing it, but then you look at the rest of the lineup and everybody else has been pretty underwhelming. I know Kyle Lewis has had some injuries this year. I know Mitch has also had some injuries this year, and pitching as a whole has been a complete mess besides the one and only Logan Gilbert. So I want to revamp this bullpen. I want to revamp the lineup a lot. And I'm going to go completely crazy with the trades and the roster moves because I want it to be like the Mariners do. They like to make moves. Let's go do that. So let's go make some trades. All right, for this trade, I'm going to get a new catcher in Wilson Contreras, who probably is going to get dealt at the trade deadline this year. Yeah, so we need a catcher here with the Mariners and the Cubs probably going to trade him. So Luis Torrens, Emerson Hancock is going to make this deal possible. I would assume with the way that Wilson Contreras is performing this year, you're probably going to have to give up a top 10 prospect, even though it is a half a season of a player. Mate, I would assume you'd have to give up a top 10. I I, that's what I'm just saying. I mean, may maybe top 15. I would assume top 10, though. So there it is. Wilson Contreras for Emerson Hancock and Luis Torrens. Let's make the deal. I'm going to pick up Matt Weisler from the Rays as a bullpen option because our bullpen needs a lot of help here. So I'm just going around different teams. I'm also kind of checking the trade block just to kind of see what is becoming available. And what's Chris Martin up to? Not great stuff. Okay, so there's got to be someone out here. I mean, the, the block's actually kind of thin this time around. Uh, we are in June, so it could definitely change. But because we're so far back, I definitely need to make some moves. So... I feel like maybe a maybe like a long relief top type pitcher, and then also I, I really want to try to get either a second baseman or a third baseman here. You know, obviously adding Wilson is a a big big addition to the lineup, but I feel like yeah, get getting some sort of I'm trying to think of how I want to order this a little bit, but I think a second or third baseman for sure. Is the move i just don't know who i can get or what i could get so let, let's see what's out there so i know the potters and the mariners like to keep each other on speed dial they're basically best friends at this point and so i'm gonna go after denosa lamette i know in real life I, he was getting shopped and no one really was wanting him but you know what let's let's pick him up he could be like a long relief or bullpen option for us tommy malone and cesar is tourist jr that's not the second or ba third baseman that i was looking for but at least it gives me a little bit more depth in the, the bullpen department or the pitching department i'm i'm really looking second and third base i feel like this year just i don't know i feel like i struggle with those positions the twins what about polanco what about polanco i mean in real life obviously polanco is probably going to get some more time with Royce lewis getting injured but they do have a rise they have polanco i mean I feel like he's always the one that gets talked about in terms of like getting moved. The Tigers could also be a possibility just because the Tigers just seem to be falling apart. 
in real life like fallen fallen apart it just seems like everything's going wrong right now and candelario i know becomes a free agent fairly soon uh what about candelario a little switch hitter could probably help us out so how am i gonna get this deal done suarez oh and joe rizzo oh that might be good oh yeah candelario just slots in a little switch hit action helps us out a little bit I think, I think that's definitely the move oh yeah and then we get candelario there second base probably should go back to frazier and then kyle lewis needs to come in do something like this boom kyle lewis and left probably kyle lewis in center julio rodriguez and right but that that looks pretty good i still want to find maybe a second baseman but i think for right now i'm gonna leave it there you know with the with the help of pitching as well where is Denilson Lamette? He's called up. So our pitching will look something like this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And then, yeah, I just need to call somebody else up. And that can be... I guess I will just go back to... I don't know. Maybe Taylor Trammell for the, for the time being. And let's see what happens when we get to the deadline. All right. So looking at the team now, we're 12 games out in the division. Which, okay, that's fine. In the wild card, though, two games. And in real life, the Mariners are, let's see what baseball reference says. They currently have them at an 8.4% to make the postseason, which is not good. That's not good. We, yeah, that's 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 not what you want to see. Either way, two games out in the wild card. I feel like the division at this point is probably gone. Like it's, it's just not possible. When you look at the team though, offensively, or not offensively, pitching wise, I feel like Things are definitely shaping up. I feel like we could use one more bullpen arm. And then offensively, I still think, even though Adam Frazier's having a good year, I just feel like maybe changing it up a little bit. And of course, we trade for Candelario, and he starts to be pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> with that in mind, um, yeah, let's 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 just see what's what's available here at the deadline. What can we pick up that's gonna help us out a little bit? and nothing ah, maybe ah, i don't i don't know i i'm not really seeing much here <laughs> there really isn't much that i'm looking at and going yeah that, that that'll make us a lot better that'll make us a team that can compete like even jd martinez is hitting 220 so you know things are looking pretty pretty bad when that's what's when that's the case so um what could we do what could we do Let's, let's take a look around the league. All right, so here we are. We're going to go to the Pirates. David Bednar is probably one of the most electric arms out of the bullpen right now. The dude is nasty. So I was looking with the Pirates. Who do they want? They really want Billy Hamilton. So I'm like, you know what? You can have Billy Hamilton. And then I'll also give you Jose Caballero as well as Kaden Palkovich. And then that's the deal. We get David Bednar to just really solidify this bullpen. And then we maybe go something like... A little bit like this send down uh, mr sheffield and now i just want that extra offensive piece and i'm gonna see what what really we can find third base really didn't work out candelario's been kind of a bummer so there's that so with that in mind we might need to find something else i just don't know i'm like trying to try out all these new players that like i've never really used before and like now i'm kind of thinking i don't really know who to get Alec Bohm's an interesting one. Because, like, the Phillies really, you know, they've been they've been kind of hit or miss. I know lately they've been on a little bit of a tear, especially since uh, Girardi got fired. But maybe Alec Bohm's the guy. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe Alec Bohm can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a help here. And then Candelario kind of takes over that Abraham Toro role, which is like off the bench platoon EH situation. So how are we gonna get Alec Bohm here? Be like a little bit of Fairchild, maybe a little little pitcher action, maybe like Ponce de Leon, and then somebody down here. You can have somebody, anybody. Who, who do you want? You want you want Juan then from the Yankees originally. Any there's there's somebody here that you want, and I know it. I just gotta find who it is, and I don't I don't really know who it is. Who do you want? Any anybody? Just just take them. I'm not giving you Harry Ford. Okay, they can have Donovan Walton, I, I guess. That's the move. There we go. It, it took me the entire roster to get to it, but we got to that point. 
And now, uh, I just thought, what, it, what was that, like a Christopher Walken impression? But now, I feel like that's a pretty good team. I feel like, yeah, that's a that's a solid team. Yeah, Adam Frazier is one of those guys where I'm like, I wish we had better. Maybe we throw Toro there and then just kind of change up the lineup a little bit. Some, something like this. But I feel like this is that's a pretty, pretty good lineup. I feel like I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get Bohm at third in this lineup, even though Candelario hits lefties better. How do we... All right, so maybe we... Ooh, how do we change this up? Ugh. Candel Candelario can only play first. And, I mean, this is a terrible idea. And I know that the Mariners would not ever do this because Ty France cannot play second base. I know he has in the past. But defensively, he is not that guy at second base. But I feel like in a situation where you just want to win and you want the best bats out there, you would throw Ty France at second base with Candelario allowed to play uh, first. And then you got Bohm at third. So I feel like that's a pretty good team right there. I feel like this is the team that's going to win us some games, along with the addition of David Bednar. So, yeah, I feel like that's a team that's making the postseason for sure. So, I mean, I could look and see maybe maybe something else. I thought about Quantrill just to really help out the, the rotation, but I'm pretty happy with those moves. Yeah, I'm happy. Let's do it. All right, a wild card spot, which I feel some wild card magic. We got to take on the Twins, but you know what? I still, I still feel pretty good about it. So, standings-wise eight games out so we were second in the west and we're currently ranked ninth so like it's not like we're a bad team we just had the angels who are always really good in mlb the show just not so much in real life so now yeah it's gonna be a long road it's gonna be a long road to kind of see how we do team rank wise we were fourth for batting average runs we were eighth hits we were fifth doubles second triples i'm assuming we were pretty oh we were ninth on this one home runs Okay, we were towards the bottom for home runs. 18th, runs batted in, we were eighth. Let's see, let's see like pitching wise. So is this the this the bad part of our team? No, we were third. Uh, we were third for complete games. Saves, we are, did I pass us? Saves, okay, saves were a little bit low. We're 20th. Lone saves, we had 14, so we were tied for fourth. It's allowed 10th, like we were, on the top half of like a lot of those rankings so yeah we just kind of had a, a tougher season you know facing the astros the angels it's, it's gonna be a tough tough road so batting average leader winker and hap do we have anything else winker for hits so winker was just a beast which unfortunately not what he's doing in real life at all like not even close to it and uh yeah there we are so awards silver slugger that was it j ram who in real life absolute monster right now top five player for sure and i feel like he's been in that discussion for a couple of years the guy is super underrated he is so good juan soto wins it on the other side wheeler and otani are your cy young winners winker and hap batting title winners reliever of the year goes to taylor rogers in class a and then you have zach rex along with suzuki winning rookie of the year so i have a feeling this got messed up a little bit so we gotta clean that up so looking at the team we've got denosa lamette who we brought him in and wow was he good for us? Wow, he was good. Uh, yeah, Anthony. I don't know how to say his last name, but Anthony was pretty good, too. I'll take that for sure. Paul Seawald was solid. Munoz was a, was a little roughed up, for sure. We got Matt Weisler or Whistler. Whichever one it is, he was pretty solid. We got Castillo and David Bednar. Everybody nasty. Bednar, two blown saves. Are we serious right now? And then you got Logan Gilbert at the top. Whew. That is what you're looking for from your ace, Robbie Ray, who in real life has been garbage, like, like really bad. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Marco Gonzalez, Chris Flexen, and of course, George Kirby. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like what Kirby was like the worst pitcher we had on our pit on our staff. And you know what? It, it's not even that bad. So they did send down Toro, but I don't really know who else we could go to here. So I think I'm just going to rock with it. I guess we could go Frazier. So Candelario was a pretty bad trade. Yeah, that, that just was a bad trade. It just happened. Tom Murphy. Yeah. Kalnick came up. Oh, boy. Yeah, what's going on with him? Uh, Dylan Moore and then Toro. So then when we take a look at our actual starting lineup, we got JP Crawford, who I think has just been a really consistent player for the Mariners. He was solid. Really, really good, especially at the top of the lineup. You got Kyle Lewis, who 
Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Definitely take that. Ty France, kill in it just like he is in real life. Jesse Winker was unbelievable. You've got Wilson Contreras, who I think is definitely a guy to watch out for in real life. Ah, I can't. Ah, I really hope he doesn't get traded. Anyways, uh, we got Alec Bohm, solid. Mitch, man, you know, Adam Frazier was pretty bad too. And then Julio Rodriguez, who I think is going to end up a little bit better uh, in real life than the numbers that he has right here. Because those are pretty bad. Yeah, those are pretty bad. So, yeah, playoff time. Playoff time against the Twins, which honestly, I could see the Twins making the postseason this year. They've been fairly good. I mean, if the players can stay healthy, I think they're going to be solid. I think if they make a couple deals, maybe strengthen up that pitching, I think they could be a team to look out for. Yeah, for sure. I see. Did they make any moves? I feel like maybe they did. Maybe they did. Let's see. Did they? No, they didn't. They kept their team the same. Even the pitching? Yeah, the pitching's the same too. Okay, maybe the Twins are for real. All right, can we do it? Can we do it? We do. All right. Next up, Robbie Ray loses. Gonzalez wins. Okay, Um, instead of Flexen, I'm going to make it Gilbert. And then we'll have Flexen afterwards. So this game is super important. We have to win. And we lose. But we win this one. It comes down to Kirby versus Kevin Gosman, who currently has a 135 in the ERA spot. Do I want it to be Kirby, though? I have faith. Boom. There we go. We're taking on the Angels now. This one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. Yeah, this one's tough. All right, we're lined up. Good to go. Pitchers are where they need to be. We just need to win the games, and we do. Look at those final scores. 15 to 2, 10 to 6, 13 to 6. We set an example. And now we have a full pitching staff that's ready to go. The Dodgers beat the Brewers in se seven, six, six. Okay. Gonzalez is pitching, and then Gilbert, and then we're going to go boom, and then swap those two. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. That's the right one. All right. This is how it's got to go. We need to win one of the first two. That's a good start. No. Okay, we win that one. We lose. We win. So we're one game away from a World Series. And I was kind of looking at the playoff picture. And I was kind of thinking about how MLB The Show is with franchise. We're going to throw Gilbert this game. And I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? Lefty, lefty to start the game. JP Crawford, are you serious right now? Back to back? Okay, so what a way to start the game, by the way. Two home runs to get it going. But what I was going to say was, um, the way franchise is, and like, obviously, I know the Dodgers are a really good team. Currently, the Yankees are a really good team. As we give up the lead to a Cody B, two-run bomb. I just feel like we always have the good teams stay good in franchise. Like, I just feel like there's never changes within the league. I never see really, like, certain teams get good i always feel like it's coded that the yankees the dodgers feel like they're always good you know i always feel like i don't know i just i, I feel like i never really see that as we go down four to two and uh it's looking pretty bad right now it's looking pretty grim but like i don't know i feel like that's what kind of ruins franchise a little bit it's just like it's just always like the same teams that are really really good which is kind of a bummer i'm gonna take out logan gilbert here i don't know i guess you guys could let me know what you think as well but I don't know. I just feel like that's kind of always the case. Oh, they brought in Kimbrel. It's over. We're about to take the lead here and win the game. Just kidding. No, we're not. Um, <laughs> a double. Let's uh, see if we can get out of this inning here. And we'll, we'll bring in a lefty for this one. But yeah, I just feel like that's always the case. I don't know. Maybe let me let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys see different things. But I just feel like that's the case sometimes. And we are down to a game seven. As I was too busy talking about the Dodgers always being too good. Let's shake it up. Let's go to the road 80s. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Robbie Ray. Mm hmm. Robbie Ray. Let's do it against Walker Bueller, who just recently went down with supposedly a long-term injury, which is not what you want to hear with uh, your ace, right? Like, that is definitely not what you want to hear. We bring in one thanks to a J-Rod hit, and then someone got thrown out, so... That was all we got but you know what we take the lead we took the lead last time though so if we could extend this lead by quite a bit i'd be very happy a double from mitch 
brings in another run and then a two run triple by j-rod love to see it makes it a four run game and ooh, can we get out of this one run scores a ground out gets us out of it wow only one run scored right there that was that's a that's a that's a monumental point in the game right there it is four to two but think if they get a base hit there two runs scored we would have had a tie game right now right or a basis clearing hit they would have had the lead thankfully mitch you know brings in another run makes it a 5-2 game but like that right there that, that's clutch that's clutch to get out of that bases loaded jam so now we're in the bottom of the seventh things are looking great oh man really really a home run right there um feel like yeah we should probably go the bullpen here a double play is so big right there holy cow Woo. and then of course david bednar the craziest man on the planet right now he starts it off with a walk a stolen base as well a strikeout one run scores a fly out and then a fly out Ooh, way to make ooh, way to make the heart kind of palpitate a little bit but you know what we win it we get the world series world series mvp goes to winker and the playoff mvp he had three home runs in the world series Whew. talk about talk about delivering in the clutch and if you look at the postseason numbers offensively it doesn't really seem like we were that good ah i mean like jesse winker but like everybody else was kind of what low and oh and wilson and everybody else was like kind of low 200s 265 for bohm but what got us to victory flexen chris flexen kind of did <laughs> to nilson lamette dino castillo and david bednar i feel like that was it what was our postseason run here so we four to two i mean i don't know i feel like we kind of squeaked by on that one <laughs> i feel like we did but we did it and like i said the mariners just seems like it's a bad year i feel like that's what's happening to a lot of teams like the mariners you got the white Sox angels you know like some teams I, I i know the brewers are going through a little bit of a streak right now like just teams that you were expecting to be pretty decent just not just not firing on all cylinders but there it is the fixing the mariners rebuild i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content of course get in the comment section let me know what you want to see for tomorrow that's about it i'll catch you in the next one peace did you enjoy today's video if you did i've got another one for you right here boom right there check it out it's gonna be great recommend this one